Hey guys, welcome back to another How to Play City Skylines video. For today, I want to get into three things. I want to get into our transit system. I want to build a bus system in place with a bus hub, bus lines, then get into our City Skylines industries, which you saw a small preview of. Then third and finally, we want to get into the small city achievement. We want to get to that small city, so let's get started. So if you didn't watch the last mini episode, you're going to see here, we edited the roundabout. This is more of a highway on an off ramp, and this will be very good for directing traffic and making sure traffic flows pretty nicely. So now that you saw what happened on our, on our last episode, we're going to get into the bus lines right away because the bus lines, well, that will go a lot quicker than the actual industry is that one you know that's later on in the video you guys will check it out if you want but right now we want to get into bus line so a bus line you need to create a bus depot the reason behind that is as you scroll you can see that we have no bus lines you're not even allowed to construct the bus lines so if we go back to the bus depot all the way to the left that is a lot of scrolling by the way a lot a lot of scrolling you're gonna see the bus depot for 720 dollars a week and 30,000, then you have the biofuel, like, mm. you know, if you're starting your city early on, I, you know, it, the difference between 720 and 960, you know, that might make a big difference when you're just starting out your city. So I'm just, you know, just, I'm, and it also uses more water and electricity. I honestly, for the time being, I will, you know, I'm just probably going to go with a normal, bus depot which i'm just gonna place that down right there so small disclaimer guys um i <laughs> i actually cr had this episode already recorded and then my computer decided to uh stop working and it didn't save my um previous project and yeah so anyways so here is the bus depot yes that plot of land was wide open for the bus depot we currently have no bus lines and it's currently not in use so what we're gonna do over here is we're gonna create a mini light, I'm gonna call it lightly detailed bus up. So it's not extremely detailed, but lightly detailed because, well, there is our city park right there. And what we want, what the goal is, is to get people from our neighborhoods, which is, you know, all around the park. We wanna get them to the bus hub and we also want them to actually use the park more. So what we're gonna do is we are going to we're going to continue the grid by a little bit. Yeah, I know. That is the most American thing I could do is keep using grids. And then I'm going to do the next most American thing possible. I'm going to start by building a parking lot. So with this parking lot here, I want to create kind of like a mini. It's not really going to be a, com a big outlet commercial shopping area, but it's going to be pretty small. So as you can see, um, this parking lot asset is from the city skyline steam workshop so if you want to check that out and as i built it you're going to be like well this is a poorly designed like this is horrible like why would you do that well what i wanted to do was i i got rid of those two end zones what i mean by the end zones the part to the right and part to the left because i wanted to eventually get all of the park or not parking the parking lot entrances i want it right down the middle so that we could have people walking from our park all the way straight through to our hub. So right now I am actually adding the parking spots that City Skylines citizens will use. Um, I do have a snapping tool on. So just letting you know that, you know, that was a very sped up version of the parking lot build. But um, again, the assets are on the City Skylines Steam Workshop and cars can actually park here. So now that we have our parking lot in place, let's look at the, a few different hub options. So this is the main hub. I, I feel like that hub has been in the game since forever. Like the City Skylines Transit DLC. I, it's, it's been here forever. Then you have the plazas and promenades. Um, I believe that is it. Yeah, plazas and promenades. Uh, compact hub. I really don't like that one. That one's good for like the city. Then if you have the city skyline sunset harbor one, you have the inner city bus hub. The inner city bus hub is cool because buses from out of town. So you get like tourists that come to your city, but we don't have any tourism right now. So I, I don't find that a, a need, I guess. So 
right now we're gonna place down this bus hub right here and um, yeah I think it's pretty well centered for what we have we had two two squares on each side essentially and a thousand twelve hundred dollars upkeep honestly pretty good I actually like the look of it, it is a pretty darn big building but anyways so as we start to build up our little lightly detailed bus hub, what we're going to do is use the Surface Painter mod. The Surface Painter mod is also on the City Skyline Steam Workshop because what I want to do was I wanted to get rid of that grass. And you're going to see, um, you know, as, as this build continues, you're going to see exactly why I do that. So, so far so good. I like the look of this. Maybe I could have used a slightly wider parking lot slab but you know overall looks good and then we have our crosswalks over there they line up pretty perfectly with our hub now the hub is not perfectly centered to it but it's it's close enough where you guys won't give me any grief i mean well maybe you would but um guys if you guys are getting any you know love out of the city skylines game please hit that like button It'll, it helps with the youtube algorithm i know that's just a ploy sometimes, but like it really does help. Like the more likes and comments and stuff like that, you know, it's greatly appreciated. So on the screen, we have Belmont Park. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna district this. So you can obviously use the default styles of play, you know, render buildings of the mid-century modern, heart of Korea, stuff like that, but we don't wanna do that, no. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our districting and as you can see, we have our industries districts. Then we have our other ones. We have leisure. We have the wall to wall specialization. We have organic and local produce. And what we do or what I chose was the local and organic produce. I feel like those buildings are the coolest that render, um, especially if you have vanilla. So AK if vanilla AK, you don't have mods. I truly feel like those buildings are the most unique out of all of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm, well, ooh, we do not want high density, you know, but um, what I'll do is I'll create some two by two buildings on this side just to surround it. Again, this is not supposed to be a perfect, uh, a perfect little, you know, it's not supposed to be perfect. But anyway, so we do have a couple three by three, uh, three by four buildings. So these buildings will render a little bit different and it look cool at the end of the day. So now that we have that in place, we did add a four x four cube and I don't want to add on both sides of the hub because we're going to expand. We're going to go behind that. And again, we're, we're creating like a commercial center that we will surround or that will surround the hub. We want people walking around basically. That's, that's what the bottom line is. And this will definitely help with that. So let's get into our minor detailing. I am using the nature reserve fence right now. I feel like just the nature reserve fence itself, it'll actually look cool uh, surrounding the parking lot itself. I mean, this is just a very, very basic, I feel like a generic, you know, just something different. You know what I mean? Just, it looks cool. And then why do we have somebody going into our hub? Um, we don't even have any bus lines. Where are you going, dude? I guess Walter Jackson just wants to chill in the hub when it's not even really in use. Okay. Well, now Walter Jackson is our first visitor of our hub. And as you can see here, the local organic um, and produce buildings, they are really cool. That's just something, you know, if you don't have that DLC, the Green Cities DLC, I highly recommend it because they also have some really cool skyscrapers. Obviously, we're not using them here, the skyscrapers, I mean, but like, look at those cool little buildings. I mean, they're like cool little restaurants. I don't know. I just feel like they look cool. Okay, guys. Sheesh. So what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to start to detail just again, minor detailing. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a curb and we're going to use these small curbs. So what it is, it's a small circle. It's kind of like a planter where you can place trees. So it's, um, you know, sometimes it's like a mound of dirt or something along those lines. So I wanted to use the little planters because remember we got rid, we covered all the grass with concrete. So what we'll do is these planters will add a little bit of green. Now, when we're adding the trees, just have to remember something guys, when you're adding the trees, make sure you're not using the biggest tree ever. So it looks like complete crap. 
Um, but overall, this this smallish tree, I feel like is not overpowering. I feel like people could easily walk under it. So, you know, you're not gonna walk from your car, hit your head on the tree, <laughs> and then keep going to the bus hub. So overall, I really like this detailing. If you don't have the curbs, um, that's that's what it's called. That's what the asset is called when you look it up. Um, it is on the City Skyline Steam Workshop. Um, I truly do think they do add, like, especially if you have a lot of concrete, you know, you can add trees. It makes it more, it looks more realistic if that makes any sense. So overall, guys, we have our bus hub. Now, how can we build these bus lines and I'm glad you asked so I'm just gonna go through one of these bus lines real quick and then I could kind of fast forward and keep doing my voiceover so what we're gonna do over here is you can see we have 20 per week using the bus but we have no bus lines I I, I don't understand that but anyways after the confusion what we're gonna do is you're gonna see that blue dot and that is where you are starting your bus line so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep this bus line in the current neighborhood. You can see that it's called the Old Town Neighborhood. So we're gonna keep everything, all the bus lines in this Old Town. And as you can see, I know this is very tedious for people that have played this game, but you can see right there that blue dot, and you can see that there is a slight curve in the road when I showed you a couple seconds ago. That means there's a bus line there. So if there's a little indent in your road, that is called a bus line so cars can go around. So when you're building a bus line, try to keep it off the main road as best as possible because you don't want traffic to be built up. And it, it basically, when the bus stops, all the car traffic will also stop. Um, then when you are building these lines, make sure you label them. Um, it's so it's easier to know which ones are successful and which ones aren't and maybe you do need to tinker them um, you, and also you do have some options of changing the color of the buses or the bus line in general as you can see the red to the right you can see the bus line is red then depending on what content creator packs you have you can choose a, between a bunch of different buses as you can see I don't know there's probably like 10 to 15 different buses you can choose from and some of them you could see that there's a different capacity. So now that we have our other bus line in place, we're gonna zoom in. You could see our bus depot. We have red buses coming out to our red bus line. And so uh, if you look to the right, there's also a dirt, random dirt road that I did not upgrade, but whatever. Okay, so now that we have that in place, we're gonna create a couple more uh, bus lines. So let's, oh, we have people using it, all right. That's so we have people starting to use our bus lines and that's a really good start. So what we'll do is our second bus line, I am speeding this up. This is actually going three speed because I don't think you guys want to see bus stops all day. But again, we're, we're building another bus stop in our other busy neighborhood. And what you could see is we are at Coldridge Hills. So again, um, make sure you press enter. So the old town line, enter, then Col Coleridge Hills, line enter and then you have the same options so we have a bunch of different bus stops you can see that we made it a green line so so far we have two green line or two bus lines then the third one is going over to our industrial area so the reason why we have this bus hub is we want people to go from the neighborhood to the bus hub and then go over to our generic industry so this way that they're not driving there and eventually you know we're gonna they're not gonna have to use the roundabout the entire time um, you know, so we're just giving right now, we're trying to force people into this bus hub. And right now ugh, we are using the TMPE traffic manager and getting rid of parking on the streets. We have that beautiful parking lot there. So these guidelines, why on earth would cars avoid the parking lot? So as you can see, as I get rid of more and more of the parking lot, it forces cars to use that parking lot. So that is what's called the TMPE traffic manager. Um, again, that is a city skylines. Oh my God. That is, I, you know, when I made it a green line, I, I truly did not, <laughs> did not realize I forgot about the buses being that green, Ugh. but overall, um, this is our slightly modded, um, bus hub. And I did show you the bus line. So let's get started with phase two. So phase two was getting into the city skylines industries. So. 
Like I mentioned before, uh, I did record a video, I did a voiceover of it, and it completely, the save just messed up. I, I don't know what way there is about it. So on the screen in front of you, you can see we have Cedar District, we have Concord Land, so that means we have districts already in place. So what essentially what I did was I deleted the old industry and I'm just gonna rebuild it in a slightly better fashion. So right there on the screen in front of you, um, if you look at the brown, like you can see the brownish dirt, that is what the oil, I guess, that's what oil looks like in the ground. Um, and you can see here on, nope, uh, that's outside connections. I accidentally hit the wrong screen. So if I go to the next one below that, you can see the natural resources and you can see there's tons of oil around the river. Now, if you are an environmentalist, um, let's just do a double take. Like that's gonna be horrible for the environment. But anyways, um, it's city skylines and that is exactly what the map gave us. So I'm, we're just gonna roll with it. Honestly, I, I don't know what to tell you. Just being honest, I have no clue what to tell you. So what we're gonna do next is we want a highway on and off ramp. So I figured this straight away when I originally built it. Whoa, whoa, camera. I figured this was the best place because, well, it's the flattest ground that was, you know, basically on the map. So basically I didn't have to do any terraforming and that was just straight highway. And I, I just replaced the straight highway with interchange. So if you go to the City Skyline Steam Workshop, again, you can find different interchanges that you can download and you know just place in that spot. And as you can see, there's a ton of different options. Like you're not just stuck with your basic, you know, I don't know, you're just not stuck with your basic interchange. So I decided to go with the turbine interchange. And the reason why is because this interchange is excellent at handling a lot of traffic. And ooh, ooh, everything connected nicely. Ooh, that was a smooth connection. Good job, Sports Monkey. And uh, don't worry about that direction yet, but overall this turbine is very good with traffic. And if anybody knows anything about the oil industry in city skylines, well, it, there's a lot of traffic. So I feel like the wind turbine um, interchange was definitely the best option. So what we need to do next is we need to create the city skylines oil industries layout. Yeah, how did you like that? Did you like that keyword that I threw in there to help the YouTube algorithm? Yeah, I know, I know, amazing stuff. Anyways, so we're building the oil industry. So I'm gonna do something that you're probably gonna hate. I'm gonna build another roundabout. And what this roundabout is going to do is it's going to handle all of our traffic on and off the oil industry itself. Like essentially when you are, like, how do I explain this in like common sense? We, we want all the traffic to keep flowing. We don't want any stoplights. We don't want any stop signs. We don't want anything. So the, the roundabout is the best way to go about keeping your traffic flowing in city skylines. And as you can tell, I am creating a vanilla roundabout there. And so now that we have the roundabout in place and it is perfectly round, no, nope, somebody in the comment section, it is fine. It is fine the way it is. So I'm gonna upgrade it to another uh, two lane highway road. We're gonna have it going one way because again, this is a highway or highway. This is a, this is gonna be a decently fast roundabout. So forgive me guys. The next part you're gonna definitely have to forgive me on. I know this is not proper lane mathematics because well, we have four lanes into two. That is incorrect on so many different levels of City Skylines Lane Mathematics that it's just, it's honestly not even funny. But the thing is, is we really don't want a three lane highway connected to the roundabout. I mean, I just didn't think it was necessary. Now, if there is more traffic and we need to upgrade those roads, well, we have plenty of time to upgrade those roads. So we have the roundabout in place. Now, what we need to do is for our layout, you can see straight in front of us is all of our oil that we need to extract from that river, which maybe, you know, maybe if we're extracting, we're getting the oil out of the ground, maybe that's creating a healthier river. I, you know, let's just throw that out there, guys. I mean, would you think that it would create a healthier river by extracting all the oil out of it? Eh, I don't know, I think so. I'm gonna go with I think so. So right now the, the roundabout is slightly 
Well, it's not, if we use 90 degrees, as you can see, City Skylines wants, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. City Skylines wants me to use that 90 degrees, but that's not 90 degrees to where the oil is. So I'm at about 86, oh, it wants to snap to 90, yeesh. That's rough, but anyway, so we're gonna use this medium size, um, it's an industrial road. I Obviously this will work perfect. Um, you know, it, it'll, it'll look perfect, it'll work perfect. It works perfect than a normal road. Like, I don't think a normal road would necessarily work at really remotely close as well as the construction road. So again, we're just trying to get the layout. So. Now that we have our main road in place, what we're gonna what you're gonna notice is two things. On the right hand side, this is where all of the production is gonna be. Then on the left hand side, right there, that is where all of the storage is gonna be. So we're gonna we're creating. This is gonna be a grid. I know you're gonna be like, oh my god, this is gonna be a grid. But you'll see as time goes on that it it's necessary. You know, it's you have to have organization to your city skylines industry layout if you don't it just does not work and does not function as well now as i'm just rambling about that is i'm getting all of our this is where all of our oil rigs and stuff like that is going to be this on the other hand does not necessarily need to be um just it doesn't need to be a grid so what i'm doing is i'm just following the contours of the um just it's a peninsula okay guys peninsula is a landmass that is surrounded by three sides of water and there's obviously a land connection so i'm pretty sure that's a peninsula even though there's a river around it anyways um that is our weird looking um this is where we're gonna extract all of the oil and so we're just trying to get everything lined up pretty well over here overall i i really do like the, the way things are starting to look with this layout, we're just nothing complicated to, ooh, that actually that did not go across very well, but nothing too complicated with the layout. We're gonna fill a lot of this in eventually with the oil, uh, it's, it's called oil fields and then the oil um, drill rigs. So, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna have a bunch of those, but not yet, we're only level, I don't even know what level we're at because, oh, we're not, we don't have a level because we destroyed everything to rebuild this. Ah, so we are sort of starting from scratch, I guess, which makes sense. So now let's let's start to build up our production area. So we we don't want to have the road entrance too close to the roundabout because we you know we're we're not trying to back up traffic essentially. So we're gonna go about 16 units away from the roundabout and then go about 44 units across, and we're just trying to make that this simple. Then we're also gonna do the same thing up top here. And I am thinking of putting a road, a one-way road down there so it will connect to the production area. I'm not necessarily sure if the city skylines industry traffic will use it. So I'm not sure yet, but we have a perfect square. And then we can grab the one-way road and just try, try, just try. Oop, that is, uh, try using a straight road. No, next time use the curved road. <laughs> oh my God. So, all right, so I don't know if they're gonna use that one-way road, but we'll see later on. This is just testing it, I don't know. Like, when I originally built this, I actually did not add that road. I just thought of it, you know, kind of off the top of my head. So now that we have that road in place, what we need to do is expand our grid. So, like I said, all of our production buildings are gonna be here. Now that one last road left, do not place it on there. We don't want another intersection where trucks can potentially get stopped or held up. So what we'll do is we're gonna just create, uh, it's like kind of um, kind of just auxiliary, this is kind of like putting a neighborhood. Um, <laughs> we're, we're just trying to create another place where we don't clog up traffic over here, if that makes sense. Um, you know, so we're gonna place all of these buildings on here. And so as we keep building up our grid, again, just keep, keep going with the same flow and again, you know, all of these buildings will eventually get filled in. Um, our production buildings, as we level up, will actually um, get bigger and bigger. So we'll definitely need all that land. So for the storage area, this is where things get really interesting. So I'm going to create two one-way roads going to the left. So we want any production, so any, any truck that has any goods that produce like your petroleum or plastic, we want a one way for the trucks to get into that. We don't want the trucks to go out. We're gonna, you'll, I'll show you exactly 
why I want to do that. So again, we're, we're putting, you know, we're, we're just filling in the grid for over here, which, you know, everything kind of lines up. And if we do go over to the small oil storage facility, we can place two of those perfectly in there. So, so far, everything is actually working to plan. You know, you know when, when you record the same video twice and you do it over a week span, um, you know, it's, it tends to come together a lot easier than you do it than doing it originally. But um, everything is in place with our grid and wow, yeah, that, that, I kind of get it. Everything is kind of looking the same. So what we want to do is, so remember, we had, in, we had a way to get into the storage area. We need a way to get out. So what we'll do is we're going to use that national road and we're going to put this at the very end of our storage area of the city skylines industries. And we're just going to put it there. So what's going to happen is obviously trucks can still come in on both directions so from from there and this way but what happens is is when the trucks are leaving they'll go to the right and go right out the exit so then this way there's no interference between the oncoming traffic coming off the highway ramp so let's start using some of these buildings so i know i have a few unlocked you know we already know the story but what we'll do is we still have to start out with a main building now you're gonna see I put the main building on I didn't put it on our medium size row, but see that black fence? We are gonna do we're gonna have a lot of fencing, essentially. So we're gonna have a lot of fences in place over there, and um, you know, it'll it'll be a kind of a guide. So a lot of the oil industries, um, you know, they do have a lot of fencing, it's a very safe area and whatnot, so it's just something that we might need to have. So instead of going to another building, um, which is, which I, you know, we're gonna get to in a couple of seconds, but what we're gonna start to do is we're gonna build some of the barracks. So I wanted the barracks to be on the outside of the industry. You know, if you had a place to live like for your employees, you don't want it in the middle of the oil industry. I don't, at least I wouldn't, that's, that's my personal preference. I wouldn't wanna be sleeping next to an oil rig pumping oil every two seconds and just hearing that, that'd be annoying. So what these barracks do, they're pretty cool. This increases the efficiency of your workers. So I, I just want to put down six. Um, I don't have the exact math of what, you know, since since the industry isn't on, it's only at 100% efficiency. But with six, I'm going to assume it's going to be at 140%. That's just that's just my rough guesstimate once we start to, to you know, once we start to build up this oil industry. So those are the worker barracks. Um, I think they're cool buildings and they're definitely necessary so when you're building um, you know, your oil industry or any industry, you definitely have a barracks. So what we'll do next is we will get to the actual oil rigs themselves. So we're gonna come up here and start now. Disclaimer guys, these oil rigs are super expensive. So watch my money, I'm at $301,000. So right there, we're gonna place down a couple of the oil fields. And the oil fields, um, the oil, well, I think they're oil pumps rather. Um, what these are, they're large oil pumps and they kind of fit perfectly with just being in the ground. It kind of reminds me of like Texas and being in the desert and just pumping oil, you know, just, just that's what it reminded me of. Then if we, wow, our money is already down 70,000. Now, if we do grab some of these large oil drilling rigs, these kind of remind me more of like pumping oil out of the river. I know, I know it's not necessarily doing that, but it just kind of reminds me of it. You know, we're going to put these along the river and it's just more of a, like, it's more of a drill. You know, they're drilling into the, to the earth and you know, it's just, uh, it's just something that I feel like it worked out really well. I just felt like it blended in really well with the industry itself. That's just my personal opinion. Guys in the comment section below, if you're still watching, um, I can give away a City Skylines DLC. Uh, please comment below your name and email address if possible. And ooh, we are pumping oil. See, you can see it pumping oil. See, I think all that looks really good. So, so far so good. It does need electricity like all others. And we do have water underneath it. So. Um, we already have water underneath it from my previous build, but so far we are pumping oil. So um, that's pretty neat. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so here are all of our oil extractors. Now we need to start the production. So over here, we already claimed a million times that this is where our production is going to be. 
So if we go over here to, um, we're gonna speed it up, by the way. If you go to, if you look to the bottom left, I just sped it up because we need more money. And when everything's going that slow, you don't make money. So we're gonna pump the, up the speed and we're gonna look at the sludge oil paralysis plants. So basically this takes oil and turns it into petroleum. Petroleum is one of the products that is created from the oil industry. Then the petrochemical plant creates plastic. So we have two different um, goods that get created from the oil industry itself. So as you can see here, I put the petrochemical plants to kind of continue the black chain fence, it's not a chain fence, but the black metal fence. And what we're gonna eventually do as we continue to extremely detail it, we'll just have the fence keep going across. And again, we're just trying to keep with that black fence and just keep going across and just making it seem like a very secured area. So next, you know, you can see the petrochemical plant making plastics and we're making money off that, which is awesome. So again, petrochemical plant creates plastics. I know I'm repeating myself, but just to show you, then the sludge paralysis plant. So I'm just gonna place two of them right next to each other. Right now we don't need too many of them because well, we don't have a massive oil industry. We also have the waste refinery plant because I don't know what star oil industry I am right now because I restarted it and deleted the old one. So not really sure, but we won't get into that right now because well, we'll just keep it simple for this build. So next we have both of those buildings in place. What we'll do is we'll start to look at the other side of our storage area. So our storage area, what we'll do is we'll grab the painting tool and what we're gonna do is just place down a lot of concrete. I'm gonna speed this up to about three speed. I don't think you guys need to see the whole filling in concrete process, but um, I do feel like the slab itself, um, I do feel like, you know, just painting that surface painter, I feel like it looks a lot better and it looks more industrial. So. That's just my idea. It is another City Skylines mod. It's surface, it's called Surface Painter. So what we'll do is these small oil storage containers, they look like oil drums, which obviously work amazing. And look again, we have the fence. So that's gonna look really cool. So it's gonna continue our fence theme, but those oil drums are really amazing. Now, I didn't realize this till recently, like out of all of the storage, those are, those oil drums are the only thing that can store oil. And, and there's a couple others, but like the actual warehouses can't do that, which I didn't know that the generic warehouses cannot store oil, but so far, cool. I like this, this, this build is starting to turn out really cool actually. So can we fit another? No, I don't like that. No, it's not going to fit. It's honestly not going to fit. So I, what we'll do is I'll show you the generic industry that we kind of, or generic storage that I kind of just got into um, a couple seconds ago. So what we'll do is you go to the, you go to the, your tab and then you click on warehouses. Now you have a bunch of different ones. You have small, medium, large ones. So I like to use the small ones. And the reason behind that is I'm going to show you in a couple seconds. So if you go closer to the storage, um, go a little bit, zoom in, you can choose what kind of product you want stored there. So we're making plastics and we're making um, petroleum. So what we'll do is we'll make one of those petroleum and then the other one plastic. And there's something cool that also pops up later on um, when once it starts to get filled in, I will show you that as time goes on. So. Right now, uh, wow, those uh, oil drums are very, very, very popular right now. So um, they just need to get filled essentially. So what we'll do is we'll start to mod up the fence a little bit. And just to do minor detailing, you can see that fence is slightly off center. So what I did was I used the move it mod to move it over just a little bit closer to the road itself. So, so far so good with the move it mod and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing to the other side so we're gonna keep everything kind of symmetrical if that makes sense um you know just have fencing on all sides and again this we're not gonna finish this whole oil industry in one day but um oh and the other part i want to show you is see those plastics so this is the plastic so each of the Whatever you change the um, storage to, it will actually, you know, change what the actual 
warehouse yard looks like so you can see the petroleum there then the other one you could see the actual plastics and holy cow that is a lot of traffic just trying to get storage and as you can see a lot of our trucks are not even going into our production area because they're going straight into the oil storage so what we'll do next is we'll create more storage i think we want more storage for both our plastics and then our petroleum and again we're gonna this, this eventually will get detailed up so you'll see a little bit more as we keep growing this um, industry so so far again the medium warehouse is literally the same thing as a small one you have to you have to figure out what storage um, resource you are going to store and i really do like those buildings over the large one and as you can tell traffic is still a nightmare so what are we going to do next so that is the real question what are we going to do to this area now i did want to add one more storage thing and just a I don't know it's just i feel like we needed one more in that area just to kind of symmetrical it out now if you do scroll down you can you you can store generic products like at the bottom you can store generic oil products um that's not necessarily oil though it's, it's like the oil products in general so we have a lot of oil um and yeah that is crazy so what we'll do next is we'll start to detail up this area so detailing is very tedious so you don't have to do this like i think the surface painter might truly be enough but if you like to detail um just look up look up a lot of different mods and ask well not mods but look up a lot of assets um what you'll see on the screen is like i do have some tanks um like gas tanks i'm not not real tanks but um, you'll also see that I'm looking for different things. So you can see there's a lot of scrolling, but I'm going to have a, a few different park trucks. I'm going to have a few different items and assets. So I am speeding this up, but I just want to show you guys, like, I, if, I, if I had this at normal speed, I think you guys would be, like, bored out of your mind. Which you probably already clicked off this video. Let's be honest. We're, like, 40 minutes in. So we, we are... We are hurting, but right now, um, you know, I just added a truck bay. Now this area itself, we can add our own little, it's kind of like, you know, I added, I added some of the construction equipment over there, kind of those lifts and stuff like that. So maybe we can get, you know, have a look for where we have trucks that are being loaded. You know, I, I know we can't do that exactly because, hey, this is City Skylines, this is not real life. We can get as close as possible, but this is just some of the minor detailing you can do. And as you can tell on the screen below, like I have a ton of assets. So I have over 2000 assets. Um, if you do have a lot of assets, make sure you have a lot of RAM. I have 64 gigabytes of RAM, which is, well, let's just say that's just, well, it's, it's overkill to be honest with you. So um, as you can see, I'm scrolling through some of these and it's like, I'm trying to look for like the trucks. And so I have to pause and find the truck, uh, the actual semi trucks themselves. So it's kind of like a loading bay area. I don't know if I really pulled it off that well, but you know, we'll just have one truck waiting to pull in and stuff like that. You know, overall just something, you know, just something different. You know what I mean? It's different than the warehouse. It's just, it's cool how everything just filled in and looks pretty nice. So what I'm doing right now is I'm surrounding everything with the fence. Like I, I mentioned to you, that was the game plan to begin with. It was just to, you know, make sure a lot of the fencing and we'll, we'll add a lot of bit, a lot more detailing later on, but I wanted to get to our barracks area after we completed everything. So, you know, just to change up this vanilla area, what I wanted to do was I wanted to add a rock collection of just kind of a bunch of rocks in the background and then just add some shrubs and stuff like that just to change it up you know like i don't know it could get boring if you just add trees so you can see that i'm adding bushes i added shrubs already and some overgrown you know just pretty much overgrown everywhere then what i also i'm adding right here are just paths around it just to add a little bit more color and have people you know walk around the whole barracks area and then then obviously we'll fence it off so this is the last part. This is kind of the boring part, but you know, what we'll do is we'll just add trees completely around the oil industry itself. And it just makes everything look a lot better, just a little bit better filled in. You know, it's a lot better than looking at something that's very plain and vanilla. And you know, that's a lot of trees, so you don't have to do it. Um, and I do add a police station over here uh, for some reason. 
the city skylines oil industry gets a lot of bad um not bad traffic but for some reason the police just get brute like i don't know for some reason people like breaking into the oil industry i really don't understand why but um overall this is what it turned into obviously you guys saw me building it so it looks amazing um, so I'm just trying to wrap up, you know, just, you could see that not everything is done, but we continued our black metal fence along the entire thing, which turned out really, really nicely. And you can see our warehouses are pretty symmetrical, you know, those medium sized warehouses. Then we did a little bit of detailing over here. I might, I'm definitely going to add something to the bottom left of that corner, but you know, just overall, just showing off the detailing of what I did. This was very basic. So guys wow we did a lot so we're almost to the point where we need to get to our small city so i'm just gonna get to that really really fast so i did have already this created um there were i don't know there's a lot of trees there i don't know why those trees were there but anyways i kept it super simple all i did was add in some of the commercial then i filled in more of the residential in this area just to get to our achievement of a small city and we just added more and more and more and then i'm just i, I know you guys aren't gonna watch this so i'm gonna fast forward this i did get out of the grid itself and as you can see we're almost there we are literally almost there and um you know we're about to hit that achievement so you know when you're building this just make sure that you take your time and don't rush anything and you know just you know, you can make a lot of money in your city and, you know, it's just look how much money I have already. And that's with barely even doing anything. So my city is making tons of money. We're almost at the milestone. We're about 55 people away. Well, time is going a lot faster, but we were 55. So guys, in the comment section below, tell me what your favorite part was about this build. And please let me know and hit that like button. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. So once we hit that milestone, you're gonna see that it's gonna pop up any second now. So you see that we hit the small city milestone, 9,000. And what's really interesting about this is that it unlocks even more vehicles or vehicles, wow, transportation options. And let me go back to that screen real quick and I'll just scroll down and show you. There's a monorail, there's trains. So we have trains, so we have a passenger terminal, we have a cargo terminal. We unlocked Metro. We unlocked every single train that we could possibly have. So I'm very excited for the future of the city because I feel like we can go well beyond our, you know, just our tiles that we're at. I think we can expand to more tiles and then we can expand to a much bigger city. So guys, thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, please leave a comment in the comment section below, but thank you for watching. 